What's up, guys? I would like to apologize for the car stuff. I am finding out that I really don't care about it. I really don't. I don't get excited when I get new car parts. I don't get excited when I really don't care. It's not fun. It really isn't. I drop a gear and I just, I'm still going nowhere. Granted, it's a Civic SI, an 8 Gen Civic SI, and I I just really don't care, to be honest. I just prefer riding, I really do. I feel more free, like I should. Or like I really should. I just don't care about, I don't care about cars that, as much as I used to. So let's get back onto it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back into riding. Um, there's gonna be more riding content coming up and it's because I just prefer I just really want to go ride again, and especially since spring is going to be just around the corner. I need to buckle down and start ordering some parts, get the bike up to snuff. But there's some problems I ran into yesterday when I started up the bike, and we're going to get into that. Um, I ordered new some I ordered some new parts. I ordered a rear master brake cylinder to delete because the Norm Morton Sports Rider plate sets just it just kinks up the rear rear line, and I need to get rid of that because I I don't want I don't want any kinks in any lines that are that are vital. So that's getting on there. Or some new steel plates and friction plates for the clutch because the Ninja 400 is notorious for having a bad clutch from the factory and we're gonna fix that. The biggest culprit is gonna be the clutch springs. The factory clutch springs are just too soft and they're just made to go for beginners. It's made for beginners to get ease into riding um, and I ordered some Barnett heavy duty clutch springs and that will help the rubber banding issues and want to order those clutch springs and the clutch plates for a long long time. I'm re researching some new helmets uh, because my helmet's gone. To catch up to speed I was in an accident back in September 28 and they make impact with the ground so and I could see the fiberglass materials so this helmet's done. This is the AGD K6. Highly recommend this helmet. The helmet's super light. It weighs like 2.8 pounds in the medium. This is a medium large, so it's light. It's made of carbon fiber and aramid, so it's one of the better helmets I've tried on. I did have their AGD K1, but that was pretty heavy compared to this. Right now, I am researching the ARFA 11 from HJC and the Shoei RF 1400. Those are my only two choices that I want, and within my price range, I am not getting a AGP Pista or any of those super race helmets, because that's just going to be noisy. HAC RF11, Shoei RF1400, those are my two choices for helmets. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to purchase before the spring or my future road trip in the summer. Problems I ran into in the 400 was the exhaust system. I didn't realize how badly damaged the exhaust was in the in the 400. The cans, the carbon can scratched up. Um, the pipe, inlet pipe going into the mid pipe is damaged. I didn't realize there was multiple exhaust leaks until I started up the bike yesterday. The colder temps right now, we're, we're at the 34 degrees right now, made it more obvious that there are exhaust leaks. That is no bueno. That's loss of power and I was smelling the fumes so that's that's no good when I'm at stop. I mean I could ride it but better be safe than sorry. I am not an idiot. I I have a lot more common sense than that. I'm going to get the ECU tune. That's definitely been on my list for a while. It's just money issues. I'm going to get the ECU tune. Two choices are Two Wheel Dino Works or Norton Motorsports. I'm probably gonna go to Norton Motorsports because I have supporting mods and I wanna get from them and they have their their fuel maps to their to their mods, so it makes more sense. I could talk to Two Wheel Dino Works. They're here in Kirkland, Washington, and I could just open up the bike, grab the ECU, and just drive down there. I don't know how good of a fuel map they're gonna, how good of a map they're gonna give me with the mods I want. I got a DNA filter that I'm gonna put in the bike I got a Norton Motorsports velocity stack in the cart right now. I'm gonna modify the airbox, and Norton Motorsports got those got those figured out for their map. So it's probably be best if I just go with Norton Motorsports. Parts coming in, I which I prefer because I prefer bike parts because they're just so much cheaper than cars. Um, there's gonna be more Ninja 400 content. I'm not getting rid of the bike. Never gonna get rid of the bike. I. For anyone who's just getting into Ninja 400s, I got content for that. There's gonna be a, few, a lot of content for it, especially riding, maybe take it to the track. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be taking it to the track because gas prices are going up and I'm not a fan of gas prices going up. I don't think anyone is. 
because we just got under 375 a gallon and starting next year of 2023 our lovely governor is putting a new gas tax so we're going to be above four dollars again and then probably in the summertime it's going to be around six or seven dollars who knows thank you governor inslee I do love the Ninja 400. It's my first bike. I enjoy riding it. I Yeah, I get the thrill and fun of the 600s, which I have experienced a few times. I just like the 400 more. It has more usable power. I love just banging through all six gears. While in 600 or 1000, you're still in first gear or second gear when you just want to punch it. I just prefer just banging all through six gears. It's just going to be a great bike, especially now that gas prices are going to go up. It's going to be cheaper to fill. It's cheaper to insure and it's, it's just a fun bike i i don't know i i love it i'm probably going to be riding it forever until i rebuild the motor and then can continue riding the damn thing and there will be road trips with the 400 which i think is going to be awesome and some people are just going to be like why don't you just get a sport touring bike oh well, yeah i could but i could also just cross country it in a ninja 400 which would be hilarious as well it'll be fun i mean i got i got looks from people in oregon on my first road trip on the bike and and I even got people like, man, you rode a 400 from Washington to here? It's like, and we told, and I tell them I took 101 and it took like seven, eight hours to get to the destination. They're like, damn. And the good news is I do got that custom modified seat. I could ride seven, eight hours on that, that bad boy compared to the stock paper thin seat, which is only a half inch of foam. That, that wasn't comfortable the first ride. This this new upcoming ride is going to be really comfortable. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to get clip-ons for the 400. With the Norm Motorsports uh, riser plates, they do bring the, the, the rear sets up and back a lot on the, on the lowest settings. That's perfect because I want that more aggressive riding position, uh, especially with the clip-on areas. With those uh, clip-ons are at that weird standard sport they're in between, so it's not too sporty, but not too comfortable. And it's just weird. I don't like it. I don't like that. It's either gotta be one or the other, and I'm going towards sport, drop those drop those clip-ons. So I'm just in that sporty position. And it's just still gonna be comfortable compared to like the other bikes I've ridden, such as the uh, ZX6R, which my buddy Dan has. And that, he was hurting on that first trip. Um, been on a thousand, uh, a Jigster 1000, and that wasn't very comfortable at all. That's just full commitment race position so anyways that's all i got um there's gonna be more content for the ninja 400 there's gonna be parts coming in i'm gonna be recording those because i just really don't care about the civic si in terms of making videos for it i will do stuff on that on my own time but the 400 is just where i just prefer riding i just prefer working on the bike i've wrenched for years i've been a diesel mechanic in the army for six years and i'm just I'm just over it. I don't really care about four wheels I, in terms of passion. Bikes is definitely where I'm at in terms of passion, so I'm going to focus on that. I enjoy it. I love making videos of the 400. I can't wait to get back into writing and recording my adventures and just all that. I'm just, that's all I got. Uh, so for the next video, we should be getting the rear master brake cylinder delete installed. Uh, we're going to tear apart the we're going to take off the right fair, right side fairing and take off the clutch and replace the clutch pack with brand new ones with heavy duty materials and a heavy duty clutch spring for the ne next video. Just ordered those parts so hopefully they show up. I think next video if it doesn't show up we are going to go do an overview of the bike. I'm going to show what's what needs to be done and we'll start her up and whatnot. Anyways. That's all I got. Uh, hopefully I see you next video. Hopefully those parts come in and we should be get the going and getting this bike up and ready before riding season starts here in Washington because it is winter and it's cold as hell. I do not have the gear to start riding out this. I mean, I don't care about body and lower body getting cold. It's just the hands. If you don't have bark busters, your hands are just gonna be cold on the bike when you ride. And I'm not, I'm not down for that. Anyway, hopefully those parts come in. If not, we'll just take a look, overlook on the bike, see what's going on, see what we need to do, and we'll we'll we'll, um, we'll bring it out from there and call it good. All right, see y'all next video. Peace.